now on the election and whether President Obama really gets the message the American people are sending. Here's senior political analyst Britt Hume. Good evening, Britt. Hi, Brett. President Obama surely deserves a little time to grasp the meaning of what happened yesterday. His press conference today suggests he hasn't fully grasped it yet. The president said the toughest thing about Tuesday was the loss of members who voted with him on health care reform and other controversial issues in states and districts where those votes were unpopular. Those members, he said, were, quote, really terrific public servants. Mr. Obama said he's questioning whether he could, quote, have done something differently or something more to save them. One thing he could have done differently was not forcing through major legislation that required members to defy the will of their constituents in order to support it. As for the perception that he had fostered ever bigger and more meddlesome government, the president suggested that was an illusion. The country, he said, was in an emergency, at risk of another Great Depression. And so he took a series of right steps that came at people, quote, fast and furious. And it, quote, felt as if government was getting more intrusive into people's lives than they were accustomed to, end quote. He never quite said it, but the implication was clear. He was doing the right things, but the uncomprehending public thinks they're getting too much government and turn against the terrific public servants who support him. Presumably, he's waiting for the people eventually to get it. Meanwhile, they wait for him to. Brett? Brett, he talked a lot about the economy today. Let's say he focuses on what he says is the fact that the 9.6 unemployment rate really affected this entire election. And he doesn't really reach out to Republicans. What then? Well, my sense about that, Brett, is that the Republicans don't have to do a lot to follow through on their campaign promises. They can vote to repeal health care reform. They can't get it through the Senate, and they can't get it past a veto. They can vote to keep all of the tax cuts in place from the, from the Bush years, but they can't force that to happen. They can vote on all kinds of spending cuts, but they can't single-handedly enact them. This is still Barack Obama's Washington. This is still Barack Obama's party in control of the Senate and, of course, the White House. So I think, all in all, the onus remains on, on him. And he's the one who is acknowledging today that people want the two parties to work together more. So my sense about that is that if he were to take that tack and go, kind of go down in flames like Harry Truman did, you know, giving them hell in the do-nothing Congress, it wouldn't work very well. All right, Brett. Thank you. you